peoples i'm starting yeah i'm starting um how is everybody i think i am on the wrong screen because i need to have my starting screen um why did she call now while I'm getting ready to stream? Ugh. Hi. Tired. Uh, no, I did. Oh, it was that obvious? So, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on one second. Okay. Yeah, it was a whole number.
<laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm sorry. Very not proper etiquette. Um, I'm, I'm streaming, by the way. Uh, hold on, I have to mute my Discord. Uh, so where am I? Uh, fuck. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Ah, mm. oh, why? Uh, this is why she. This is why I hate when people call me. It's like, damn it, don't call me. It's like, damn. I'm, oh, I hate when she does this. Hold on, I need to put the damn music back on. Oh. Uh. Can you find friends in a life? Oh, I'm sorry, I had to make a phone call because my sister won't leave me the hell alone if I don't pick up her damn phone call. To talk about the same shit she does when she's at work. Okay, I'm going to have the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff up in just a second. I need to, uh, I'm trying to share stuff online. Okay, live stream. I am with. Yeah. Let's, uh, oh shit, I should add everyone too. Add everyone. I am live with the puzzles. With puzzle and dragon live stream. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to be doing a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to be doing the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! collab rolls. Which, spoilers, I, I rolled my... Um, copy. No, that's paste. Shit. Uh, right. Now. With. With. Puzzles and Dragons. In Dragon Live Stream. Okay. There we go. Now I just have to go into I. Which I said I am. It actually should be I. Okay, there we go. Alright. So. I should be able to post. Back in Chinese. Here we go. Alright. So, yeah, how's everybody? I, I know most people are probably, um, but, well, because you guys don't see my feet yet. You'll see it soon. Uh, once I finish getting everything together. Slim has a promote. Now I can promote my fucking live stream. Because I didn't think he had it. Oh, he has it now, so. Alright, there you go. Okay. Well, it's for streams and stuff, right? Okay, yeah. Let's see, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Okay. Okay, I'll look, if I'm wrong, then shit, I'll do it. I'll just erase it. Um. But yeah, how's there? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh. I ran into some trouble earlier in the week uh, due to the fact that I was having issues with um, what was I having issues with? Oh, I was having issues with my Crash Bandicoot live stream. Um, I guess someone is faking, they're faking as artists and they're trying to get people stuff modded. I mean muted. So, that's been a thing. Uh, I don't think any of my friends are on. Uh, no, they're all playing games. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Just go ahead and just, yeah, just get everything started. Uh, I guess I'll go to the main feed now since I'm here. Uh, I really don't have much to really talk about today. Uh, I am going to order stuff, actually. So at least come here. 
violated. Because I still have shit. That's the problem. It's like, you know how you order stuff? And it's like... Oh, glass. Dude. Oh, sorry, that's my iPhone. So... Uh, Galaxy... It may not have it. Yeah, I have to order shit. You know what? I'll order that on Amazon. Sorry guys, I'm kind of still busy with stuff. So I apologize. It's just I I can't I was gonna stream at six and then I didn't. I decided to wanna stream now. Cause Oops. Ah, fuck. I gotta get one of those. Okay. I know. I know how to do this. Jesus Christ. Okay. I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope everybody is doing well. Okay. Simply because it's the start of the new month. Well, it's gonna, well, September starts in literally a couple hours. Uh, I'm off Thursday, so I might stream Thursday. The only reason I'm streaming today, um, is simply because I can't even order this stuff today. It's like, I'm, where's Amazon? You can just order the screen protectors from Amazon. So it can come tomorrow. Yeah, I need some screen protectors from the phone. Calium glass? No, I need Gorilla glass. Yeah, because I have a pair of headphones coming. That's uh, a team. Although I do need a screen protector for my team. Uh, everybody's screen protector seems to be really good. So. I ordered some tempered glass ones. I'm gonna order some tempered glass ones. They said. Mm. Does this come in any color but pink? Oh, it comes in black? Oh yeah, I'll buy that. Oh, but it'll come Thursday. No, it doesn't. Cut this shit to the cart. Shit to the cart. Add that shit to the cart, bitch. I don't know. I'm just, I'm being extra today. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are excited for today, because I'm excited for today. Uh, I just want a glass protector. I don't think what. Why do they have one for the camera? So anyway, um, how's this back? Don't don't worry, guys. I have some screen and stuff up on my computer. It looks normal. Just let these special. It looks very normal. Oh, uh, someone didn't like it. Okay. Skip what I'm getting you. I might just get two. I need this really cool screen protect. I mean, case. In blue. I mean, black, not blue, black. Okay. I don't know. No, mine's one. Ooh, wrong one. I got to have two. Oh, one per customer? Wow, okay. Um. Uh, Oh, my other phone is in my other fucking thing. Okay. I don't think I need anything else. Like, I have a whole bunch of stuff coming tomorrow anyway. So, yeah. Alright, let me let me check out at Amazon and then I'll check in with you guys in just a second. Because I'm gonna see if I can get what's next week. I want you guys seeing all my business. 
Order here. Okay, we get off. It's Amazon. Alright, um... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might do Lookout. You know, like, I might do a Let's View for today's stream and see how that works. If it works. Turn on Let's View. I think Let's View has to connect with my phone as well. And I think I'm not ordering anything tonight because I think my dad cooked dinner. Oh, not connected to Wi Fi. You know that we have to survive. Got to keep that dream alive. Don't you think we're in a city? Be ready. Nothing is down. Oh, I'm living in a city. Living in a city. I'm living in a city. Oh, you guys can hear my echo. Uh, uh, I, don't want, I don't want myself to be heard. Uh, where's my music button? Oh, I, you know what, I can just turn the beat down. Okay, there we go. No, I can still hear myself. Fuck. Okay, uh... I don't know, I'm still so lost. I don't even think I have an account, actually. I know I No, I don't want you to just keep that. Okay, so you shouldn't be able to hear me. There we go. So, I didn't know I can actually... Wait, I thought I turned myself off. I mean... Fuck. Wait, I don't think anyone can hear it. They shouldn't be, because I swear to God... You should, you should not be able to hear me. Oh, fuck, you are able to hear me. Okay. 
Mario and Pi. We're marrying the PC nine. Okay. Mario input nine. Like I don't know why it's it's doing this. I don't want my audio to when I try to meet my audio. But it's still picking me. If it's like, if anything, fuck it, I'm just have to switch to something else. Okay, you know what, fuck it. We're just gonna just connect. Okay, we're just gonna use the, we gotta, you know, do this the other way. Cause we're gonna do this using one thing, but it's not working. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Hold on, I'm gonna put the window on display in just a second. Uh, window capture. Window capture. Uh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Alright. Uh, I need to change my. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, I need to change my main image. So, let's change this because we're going to be using the uh, puzzles and dragons. Oh, you know what I never did? I never added my puzzles and dragons uh, thing to this. So, uh, I guess I'll just use regular puzzles and dragons um, icon. Uh, where is it? I just seen it too. It's the one where it looks like, um, it's the official logo, but it has the, uh, well, I wish it had the Chinese Celestial Goddesses, but it doesn't. So, it's probably down here. No, oh, I might have passed that. Yeah, that's bountiful. I shouldn't, I should consider making another one, and just have it of, like, my favorite Puzzles and Dragons, uh, car. So it most likely will have uh, Dark Alley. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, well, I know Dark Alley's gonna be. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Oh, this hell would be too. So let me move over here. Let me move my screen over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, let me uh, close the window for me. Okay, and then I'm going to put on Do Not Disturb mode. And I need to set up my voice and see if I get the chance. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get into Puzzles and Dragons. This is what everyone's been waiting for. Yay! We're playing the game. Yay! Uh, is my music too loud? Actually, I'm going to lower my music just a tad bit. Um, I might actually have to go to YouTube and lower it too. So we're finally playing the game, ladies and gentlemen. So I bought a couple of, ma I bought a good hefty amount of magic stone. Uh, this is in combination. Uh, oh, it actually might be my main set. My main sounds are so Yeah. Okay. There we go. So, um, I bought a whole bunch of magic stones earlier today. My last one. Um. Yeah, I bought a whole bunch of magic stones earlier today. I rolled Pegasus, um, cause that's the one you get for the art to do, um, if it's not spooky. I mean, it's not, um, Blue Eyes, cause Blue Eyes gives you the one that has, uh... So it's just a Yu-Gi-Oh! Collab. Yeah, here it goes. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters Collab, so that's the art skin, um, it's blue it's basically all the colors of the game itself but it's in um, <laughs> yeah but it's like um the orbs the orbs are different they're just different color but they have the millennium puzzle in it 
and in the original Yu-Gi-Oh collab. Show you guys what that looks like. Uh, that's the original Yu-Gi-Oh online collab. It's Kaya, Joey, Merrick, Kaiba, and Yuki. Yuki is the white, Kaya is the wood, uh, Merrick is the dark, Joey is the fire. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm, I don't mind the new one, to be very honest. I actually want to switch back to which one, so I should have that one. Or no, I'm actually going to switch back to my Dory. Do I want Dory and Dory? I mean, Dramatic Orchestra, I'm going to switch back to the Orchestra, because why not? But I think for Yugi's team, there's Yugi's team, uh, Yugi's team will have a plenty of buffs. Actually, I have not shown my Yugi team. Uh, this is my Yugi team. This is, it's not the best Yugi team, not on the fly, uh, but of course it does consist of the main man himself, Yugi Moto, and the Psycho Magician, who transforms himself into Yugi Moto, I mean Yami Yugi, and the Dark Magician duo, Dark Magician and Dark Magician girl. It's funny because um, when this came out, it, it had waited a few, like, it waited a whole another year. Uh, it, they could have the art merch of Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl from that set, but I think because of how iconic these two monsters are in their original forms, that's why they put them together. Um, my Yugi is holding, uh, the Cursed Sword, Purple Cloud, Masamune, I mean, Murasame, oh, Maramusa, I'm sorry, not Murasame, Maramusa, uh, this is, of course, one of the Samurai 3 that cards and then you uh it becomes a very good weapon it says they all i believe have skill boost and then, then they come with like three different attachments to it so it's like skill boost uh he has four jammers and he has an attack buff on him so at least helps you be transform a little faster and i could unlock the other two uh latent skills so that way you can have Eight latents of skill of skill buying misses. Uh, other than that, of course, we do have a uh, Wing Dragon Guardian of Fortress One. But it's simple because it, Wing Dragon will start off with three skill boosts and three uh, Healer Killer. But you basically want him to transform into Dark Magician Girl via his effect uh, Tribute Summon, uh, where you tribute Wing Dragon Guardian of Fortress and he transforms into Dark Magician Girl. Um, even in Dark Magician Girl. Basically, this is a better Dark Magician Girl because it's coming off of a transformation of a monster, and the transformation is not that far off. Um, also, it's the better of the skills because uh, Dark Magician Girl's original skill, I believe, is 5. On Wing Dragon Garden of the Fortress, it, oh no, no, they, they reduced it. It used to be 5. But uh, Dark Magician Girl's original skill is that uh, she can unlock all the orbs and create 3 hearts, 5 uh, dark, and 5 a light at random and it helps out with Yuki because of Yuki skill. Um, I also have Deadly Sin Dragon King of Wrath uh, also on the team just to give some more skill boost, some VDP, and then I have Yuki's evolution into Yami Yuki and Cypher Sky Dragon because uh, why not? <laughs> and he's also equipped with the Masamune, or no, the Mirosame, the Miramusa, sorry keep saying all the wrong swords but yeah and then my dark magician girl i believe she's equipped with the um uh derma's wooden blocks because i wanted to give the skill boost to somebody so i gave it to her and then we dragon has um the egg of pride so that's cloud resist combo chance and hp on me so yeah and then um my egg or my deadly sin king of wrath is equipped with the black power rangers power axe so that it can drop more dark books in addition to it really not doing that oh no no he changes the field no he just gives a full volume recovery and then buffs the attack of fire and dark uh, for three turns which is not bad as considering this team is majority dark anyway so it gives you a boost but um yeah that's Pretty much it. Oh, I forgot I had a team for this. Oh, this team is actually something else that's pretty different, but yeah. Alright, so Yu-Gi-Oh! Collab rolls, Yu-Gi-Oh! Collab time. Um, 
Oh, all right. I guess there is no hiding from this, is there? Uh, oh, is my audio from my music? Well, it is. Oh, I think that's because of the level that it's in. So, hold on. I'm actually going to raise my stuff back up. So, like, I'll do 45. And I think I should be perfectly fine. But I'm going to raise myself up just a bit more. So that way you can hear me more. But the music is still on the part level. Alright, so we have two options. We have the Rare Egg Machine. Which, this Rare Egg Machine is very much not like the normal Rare Egg Machines. This Rare Egg Machine is featuring Godfest exclusives. Because it's supposed to be a 5 Magic Stone Godfest. That's supposed to last till Friday. It does consist. No, I think Friday. No, it's Thursday. Thursday, not Friday. And this consists of uh, some of our classic favorite Seven Spy Godfest exclusives: uh, Gradius, Long Fang. I mean, Light Fang, Royal Oak, Nautilus, um, Zeus Gaia, Athena Non, Fagin Rye, Caius. Oh, no, Klaus, not Caius, Klaus. Uh, Cecilia, uh, Odin, and it also does feature some not really good ones either, because, um, Lightning Red Dragonbound Gradius is here. Like, they, they just stuff in. Oh, that is wow. Let me turn this down for you guys. Well, oh, please tell me you did not just freeze. It just froze. Wow. Okay. Like, that's not funny. I hate when this does this. Like, it'll, it'll catch up in just a minute, but it froze on me. I hate when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna change the Velanova. Okay, hold on. It, it's gonna get back in just like a minute, guys. So, I do apologize. Okay, I gotta... Uh, come on, come on. Ugh, I hate when this does this. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Like, I'm still here, and I'm sure you guys can hear me. It's just stupid ass. Oh, I hate when this happens. And I don't know why OBS does this. I sent in a report for this, too. But it freezes up. Oh, let me close it and come back. Okay. And you can't say, oh, because you have so much stuff open. No, that's not true. Because I really don't have much stuff open. Oh, is that? Okay. Oh, now it's doing it just to be petty. Come on! Oh my god. Why the students? Like, I'm still here, it's just, it froze on me. So, let me type it and see if it works. Still here. Step by step. Yeah, but it's not showing up on there. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, chat. I really am. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't. Da da da. 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 There it goes. Okay, so now it's working. Um, uh, alright. So, um,. I want to make sure. I'm make sure this is actually recording. We move the upside down. I mean, up and down. Because it should, it should start coming back. Come on. Okay, there it goes. Alright, but yeah. Um, Where were we at before we were so really interrupted by uh, Streamlabs when the fuck that's over? Um, yeah, so a lot of. Other five star God Fest exclusives that are here that are really not good, but they're here in case let's say you're a new player and you need them or you've never gotten them, 
there here and then it's like oh, I look at this pool of things that are in the God's best machine it's just like I don't need any of these I really don't I think the only thing is probably worth shot after and I think people are only using it because of Nautilus is uh what's that green one I think he's up here a Avalon Drake because he helps Nautilus create a board so yeah we got a lot of like we got some good cards and we got some bad cards and then um the Yu-Gi-Oh collab which is 10 magic stones um per 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 you have 7 star you have 6 star and you have 5 star Wing Dragon, Gaia, Karibo, Mystic Elf, and Grandora, the Dragon of Destruction. For the five stars. For the six stars, which is probably the longest list here. Joey Wheeler, Red Eyes White Dragon, Red Traptor, Twin Headed Two Headed King Rex, Blue Eyes White Dragon, My Valentine, and Cyber Harpy Lady. Weevil Underwood, Insect Clean, Taya Gardner, Shining Friendship, and Fire Sorceress. Dark Magician Girl, Exodia the Forbidden One card. Uh, Yami Bakura and Dark Necro Fear, Dark Magician, uh, Summon Skull, uh, wrap out the six stars. And then for the seven stars, it is uh, Seto Kaiba, Bakura, Can't Hear You, but prepare yourself. Because... Oh, it, you can't hear me. This is weird because my audio should be high. It, it said, uh, hold on, wait a minute. Um, it's probably all the filters, which are only here because I need them to make sure that I'm not being fucked. Oh, it's probably my audio. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Okay, because my friend just jumped in the chat and he was trying to make sure that I was heard. Okay, so I, I lowered myself. Oh, I didn't lower myself, but I lowered the audio quality of the music so I can hear myself. Um, hopefully it works. Look, if it don't work, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I got like four filters to make sure the background noise in my house doesn't get heard because people can get loud and televisions can get high. So, Alright, where was I at? Um... Seven stars, seven stars. Uh, Saddle Kaiba, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Yugi Moto, Silent Magician, Yami Merrick, his uh, Wing Dragon of Ra, and Maximilian Pegasus in Tomb World. Um, the only one that you can't exchange for in the seven stars is Pegasus. So, unless they do like a GX one, uh, Pegasus is not in the in the monster exchange because uh, Pegasus is the one that gives you the art skin. I'm praying I don't roll Pegasus um, only because I gotta own enough Pegasus and I don't need more Pegasus. That's the only problem uh, that I'm gonna have. Okay, so now my audio is low for my background. So, look, got everybody's gonna have to deal with it. Okay, just look. Is everybody's gonna have to deal with it? Um, so yeah, all right. Oh, and I'm being great with a party of 10. Um, thanks, Kai. I really appreciate it. Um, to everyone who is coming in, hi, my name is Harvey Player Joe. I am a content creator for YouTube. In Twitch. Uh, right now you're catching me in my stream, which I pray to God is not loud and hurting people's ears. Um, but yeah, I'm a content creator for YouTube and Twitch. I do um, videos on YouTube. Uh, and as of a few months ago, I started streaming. So, uh, the space cadet has crash landed. Uh, reference. Definitely a space game. Oh wait, is that Dark Souls? That must be Dark Souls. That has to be Dark Souls. That sounds like a Dark Souls. So I know Kai was playing Dark Souls. 
when I was at work, actually, I did see, um, let's see, the, oh, the, yeah, the playing game, uh, yeah. Which, uh, okay. So, yeah, um, I'm just getting ready to roll from Puzzles and Dragons, one of the many MOBAs that I play on my phone, and I like to stream. Uh, right now, for the most part, you actually just joins because, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a thing. Uh, we are having our Yu-Gi-Oh! event here in the, um, NA server, and holy fuck, Pokemon, you are loud? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I kinda got a, a less softer tone, uh, song. Uh, and then just, just hit me with the raise music. Alright, um, final chase. Jesus. Oh, okay, there. Something a little softer tone. Uh, Magic Crafters Homeworld from Spyro. Actually, I've not added any of the Insane Trilogy versions of him. But don't hear any games. Oh, that's on purpose. Um, so what I'm using to record off of my phone uh, is a hacking situation because um, I do have legitimate ways to get the music and to stream it. I didn't want to do that because um, there was feedback in the legit one. So, eh, it happens. Um, so yeah, it, Puzzle and Dragons does have its own music, it's just right now I don't have it playing. But, yeah, um, I'm gonna get ready to roll soon. So, um, right now I'm just, I just wanted to go over it, because I think for the most part I'm gonna be rolling in this collab for a couple of gems, and then I might go back, so. Alright, it's time to play, it's time to roll some yu gi it's time to roll. God, the puns are bad. Alright, let's get this off. Um, so it says I have 12 rolls. I'm probably gonna roll for like 6, if anything, just to see what I come up with. Because I, I have all my cards at this point. I'm just doing filler. Hey, Taya! Not bad. Miss Taya Gardner and her shining friendship and fire sorcerers. Uh, I'm basically getting this card because I want the um the shining friendship assist card. So weapon assists in this game are actually really cool. Um, they equip to any monster as long as they are compatible. Are you hyped for the new Yu-Gi-Oh game? Uh, nope. <laughs> Not after what they said about the microtransactions. Because uh, Master Duels, if anyone hasn't seen my video on that um master duels is actually going to be uh it's going to be free to play at start but if you want other cards uh what is it yeah if you want other cards you're gonna have to purchase the sets in the cards so i think what it is is you're gonna be able to purchase the set but you will have to spend actual money to be able to download or i guess download the cards and put the cards into your deck as well as any of the other accessories they're going to be adding. Because I know they're going to have um, little characters on the side. As like, I guess, to fill in as little deck overtures and stuff like that. So, yeah, a lot of people are saying it's Duel Links 2.0. And you know they're going to have their their content promoters. Their YouTubers do a lot of that. It's, ugh. Oh my god. Like, I... Personally, I'm sorry. I'd rather use all the other stuff. EDO Pro, Dueling Book. Like, it's it's not worth it. it. It's actually for something that's supposed to be cosmetic changes. And stuff like that. It's, I, I was not... Like, I was not gung-ho for Hunt Hunt. I was not gung-ho. It's almost as worse as the way they do... Yeah! Uh-huh. And mind you, these might also... In, they didn't say if it's gonna be if it's gonna be TCG or OCG, because everything's going to be in there. So if you want the OCG card, you might have to buy that, as well as buying the TCG version, unless they update it. Oh, excuse me, so you can switch between the names, but I'm not sure because I'm not Konami. Oh, sorry for the hiccups, but yeah, uh huh, it's just it's bad, and I think like the other Yu-Gi-Oh games are. Kind of also going to be dual links oriented 
except for the one that's going to be on the Switch, because that comes out a few, I think that comes out in October, and it's basically Rush Duels, which, Rush Duels looks fine, that's about it, the cards look nice, it's just like Advanced Yu-Gi-Oh, not really, but yeah, um, Oh, I'm a little distracted. Let me go back to my Taya Gardner card. But Shining Friendship, while well, we're still on Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, <laughs> Shining Friendship is a great weapon assist. Um, the icon right here that you see, this is called an Awakening Assist. Uh, the Awakenings allow you uh, special properties for your cards. And with Assist cards, if they have this Awakening, you can equip them to another monster, and it buffs that monster up with the abilities that you see attached to the card. Uh, for Shining Friendship, I have the ability of um, resist skill bind, which means my skills won't get hurt when they're um, when I'm trying to activate them, or if my opponent has delays to delay my skills, uh, it will be less effective. Um, I have a cloud resist, which gets rid of clouds that would stop me from being able to maneuver my board. A time extend that will help me uh, extend the time for movement speed to move my orbs as well. Uh, auto recovery to heal every time I match my orbs. And a uh, RCV enhancement which gives me 20, no, 200 uh, increase to my RCV. My RCV is basically how much I heal and it's multiplied by a number um, in its own number generator. But it basically increases my um, healing property, how much I heal for. So, yeah, not bad. I actually did want a tail on this main account. My second account has a tail, but this one does. Alright, so that's one card I get to cross off the list. Uh, I'm Wow, I'm rolling all these diamonds. Uh, another Rex Raptor. Okay, so I can go for the weapon assist of King, a Twin Headed King Rex. Um, Rex isn't bad but rex isn't good he has skill bind but most cards have that is there a jayton sadly no um the only new additions are the rush cards and then uh pegasus what is it pegasus uh rex and weevil that is about it i want to see the gx cards in here because jayton would probably be a good match against yugi or a good team up with yugi it would just depend on what colors I mean, what, yeah, what colors they would make, or attributes they would make. But, uh, yeah, oh, it's kind of also sad, because today is Jayden Yuki's birthday. Damn. Uh, that would have been nice, though. Alright, so I have a uh, Rex Raptor. I'm not really going to use Rex. Rex is probably just going to stay in my monster box. Or he'll just be a really good weapon assist in case I have some cards that need the, uh, the setup, sadly. Alright. Uh, let's roll again. Let's see what we get here. Oh, another diamond. Uh, oh, blue eyes. I, I, God, I have so many blue eyes. I have three blue eyes white dragons. Um, blue eyes in his base form is nothing compared to Seto Kaiba and blue eyes, which are the optimal card. Uh, but I will, well, I'll, I'll keep the card on the side. Alright. Ooh. Sonic Mania music. Another diamond. What is up with all these? Hey! Another Pegasus. Okay, so Maximilian Pegasus. Uh, yeah, I can make the ultimate now. Yeah, I can actually transform. Um, Pegasus is Toon World spell card. Uh, great assist for Dark. Because it gives a uh, skill boost, uh, double jammer resist, double poison resist, and H HP buff. But his active skill is what um, is more sought after. Changing into tune monsters. It will have your HP, but void damage for one turn, and then void damage absorption for three turns. And damage absorption is a thing you do not like to run into. Especially with the arenas, because, uh Vishnu, Pervardi, I heard this with a couple of other things in, um, what is it, the, the, I, I forget what the name of it is, but it's like Arena 7, and Arena 7 and 8, I believe, are the ones that just, ugh. But I do have another Pegasus, so that's a nice addition. If I did not have my first Pegasus, um, I would have 
gotten the orb skin uh, for this, which is just the Millennium Puzzle in different colors. So, alright, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Uh, I figured we were gonna get a goal, and I have a Mystic Elf. I got like a whole bunch. Oh no, this is my second Mystic Elf. Uh, another one of Yugi's monsters. She's more so needed in her weapon assist form, which is just a whole bunch of jammers. Um, but she has the ability of Gift of the Mystic Elf, which is the trap card she's based off of. Uh, what Gift of the Mystic Elf does is that it's gonna give me 50% of my HP and recovery. Fully recovers all my matchable orb status, so if orbs are not be able to match, uh, thankfully, Mystical Elf will stop that. And then, uh, turns my leftmost column into heal. I'm shocked she doesn't have follow-up attack, which would have been a great assist, um, awakening as well, but... Oh, she has it in her base. Okay, that's awesome. Alright, got another Mystic Elf. Uh, seven more roll. I'm very tempted now to skip to buy some more stones. Uh, Wing Dragon? Ugh, Grandor. And, ugh, I have three of these. Grandor is not a good card. It's very low class card. Um, there's so many better options than Grandora. It's basically just here just to look nice. Even in Grandora's evolution, um, there's still better options. There's still, and I think this is copying one of those two. Expansion, and so let you use music. I trust his library. And then you'll be able to have background music on your stream. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm basically just going to use um YouTube for right now. Because it's just so much more easier. Because I used to have the, YouTube, this, the Twitch thing to put background music. But it got ooh, another diamond. And it is Dark Magician Girl! Too bad this... Uh, okay, so Dark Magician Girl... Well, we're gonna have this subject about everyone's favorite waifu. Uh, is this my second Dark Magician Girl? It is my second Dark Magician Girl, okay. So, um... Break off tangent for a bit, Dark Magician Girl is a really cool monster, but most people want her when she's not Dark Magician Girl. Um, if she's Wing Dragon Guardian Fortress, it's a lot better because it's a transformation. And Wing Dragon Guardian Fortress has the better buffs. Because um, he starts off with triple skill boost. She only starts off with one super skill boost. And you either have a multiple skill boost during the single. Otherwise, everything attached to Dark Magician Girl is what Wing Dragon will have. So, it's like, yeah, I got Dark Magician Girl. I got Dark Magician Girl. Still nice artwork, and you definitely can tell they did a lot of censoring to her because uh, this artwork is created by Kazuka Takahashi. He's the man behind uh, many of the artworks in the Yu-Gi-Oh! in the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, uh, especially when it comes to a lot of the older cards. And I believe Takahashi uh, had some big influences on a lot of the art artwork because I believe this artwork is based off of the Dark Magician Girl artwork number three. Where it's a similar position to her, to her master, Dark Magician. Who I'm actually hoping I roll. Because I do want another Dark Magician, if anything. Uh, another goal. Please be Wing Dragon. Please win Wing Dragon. It, no, it's Karibo. It's a uh, Yugi's little ace in a hole. Karibo. Uh, when Karibo is his own card, he has Multiply. Which is actually a really cool card. Um, gives you L unlock, which if you match uh, five orbs of the same color, or of the color of this card, uh, you will be able to unlock uh, the orbs and get rid of the unlock orb status. There's also two skill barn resist, which is really good because it helps against, you know, um, what's it, debuffs, and uh, those who have slows, and then the team RCB. But as a regular card, Karibo is, is pretty meh. You want the weapon assist. The double skill boost isn't bad. The blind resist, the jammer resist, and the poison resist aren't bad either. I mean, it, it just Karibo, you have a lot of better options when it comes to uh, what Karibo does in terms of his leader skill, which is uh, effect monster. 1.5 times HP and RCB for wood attribute. Attack increase with 4 plus combos up to 10 times. There's a lot of other cards that do this a lot better. And they don't need a 7x6 board to also initiate that, which is kind of also, unfortunately, Karibo's Achilles' heel. 
Yeah. All right. And then we move on to another. Oh, another diamond. And we have oh, another Bakura and uh, Dark Necro Fear, uh, which gives me my second one. So Necro Fear had a bit of a change up, um, as well as Bakura. So when the Yu Gi Oh collab came in, they introduced what's called anti poison teams, where their leaders would be able to nullify poison. They won't be taking poison. And it's not bad because it's Bakura and Dark Necro Fear, but Yugi does it better. And Yugi got a lot of the better hyped up. Sadly enough, there's no really good leader in terms of taking advantage of poison. And even the current new cards from the Fairy Plant collab that came like a few weeks ago, the I think it's Rafflesia. If not please, I think it's um Darfius. Or no, not Darfius. Darfius is another monster. Um, it's another plant that came in the fairy collab and it's the fairy rose the fairy plant collab and it's just <laughs> Dark Necro Fear and Yami Bakor aren't they would be great cards on the team. It's just poison leaders are just not anything to hype up about. But I am going to at least keep it because that is my second book horror. All right, roll number three. I am getting a lot of di Oh, well, okay. Uh, Wing Dragon? Yeah, Wing Dragon. Guardian of the Fortress. So if you didn't catch on to when I was talking about it earlier, this is a great card for the Yugi team. Uh, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress has triple skill boost, so that is basically haste to your app to your uh, regular skill. His skill is, of course, tr uh, Tribute Summon. He tri he will charge all your other allies by three turns, so it's three turns of haste, and he transforms into the lovely Dark Magician Girl, who we did see earlier, and this is basically the better of the setups for you, is that you want the, the Winged Dragon to be the Tribute to have tribute summon and be able to transform. Um, otherwise, Wing Dragon as an assist card isn't too bad, but you're not going to use him for the assist card. You want Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress because you want to transform him into Dark Magician Girl. So, yeah. And then I only got two more rolls. Um, I'm really not looking for anything spectacular at this point, to be very honest. What is this third Wing Dragon? Uh, nope, third Kariba. All right, and then one more roll. Uh, I can purchase some more magic stones if I wanted to, but that's more so if I wanted to roll. Hey, my queen. Ah, oh, Miss Valentine and the lovely Cyber Harpy Lady. Can I get some pogs in chat? Can I get a few pogs in chat? For my favorite duelist in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, associated with one of my favorite archetypes in the series, and very beautiful artwork, by the way. This is the lovely My Valentine and Cyber Harpy Lady. Uh, she does actually have her, she's her OCG artwork and not her TCG artwork. But uh, yeah, Miss Valentine and Cyber Harpy Lady. Uh, unfortunately, there is no good team setup for My unfortunately. But Mai does have some really good abilities attached to her. She has a uh, super skill boost. She got her you know, team. She has a resist skill bind. She got some cloud resist. She also has this unique thing. This is an L healing map. If you match um, an L shape of five heart orbs, it will not only reduce damage, and heal, but it will also increase your attack and remove a bind status. So it's not too bad. And if she has triple uh, physical killer, uh, which is also funny because she's a physical attack, she's a physical type. But when she has her weapon assist, she's the lovely Cyber Harpy Lady card. Um, lots of auto heals, uh, follow up attack, some uh, time extend. A team RCV buff by 20% and an attack buff by by 100. So, and that is basically my second Valentine. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, looking at it, this is basically, ooh, excuse me, my roundup for the Yu Gi Oh! collab. Um, starting off with that second 
uh, wing, at first Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. So Wing Dragon, uh, this is Weevil, Mr. Weevil Underwood. Uh, ooh, is the music too loud? Hold on, let me check that. No, the music's fine. Okay. So yeah, that's Weevil Underwood and his Insect Queen. Uh, Weevil's not that good either, exactly. And even the Insect Queen has, has her assist card. Literally not even that relevant. I might, uh, a D, what is it, a flow in your skills to increase for every poison resist on the team. And then try to count every poison resist as more. Well. Yeah, that's not. There's only better options. And even as a monster, it's not even that good. Come on out, my queen. 2.2 times the HP for wood. Uh, attribute 18 times attack with 6 plus combos. Reduce the damage and adds 2 plus combo when using 6 plus link uh, wood orbs. Yeah, you have better options. Like, I'll show you guys what Nautilus looks like in a minute. And Nautilus is basically the superior uh, wood card right now. Nautilus in his uh, counterpart, the Royal Oak, are amazing. Uh, speaking of other cards, I do have uh, Seto Kaiba in uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, with Kaiba's transformation evolution, he becomes Seto Kaiba and Obelisk the Tormentor. It's not bad. But it's a lot better if his other evolution. The trade-off is that you have void damage and damage absorption for one turn. Uh, which is not bad. And then he removes all lock boards to create uh, 15. This is white and oh water and dark horse. Let's see, why is YT? No. Uh, I mean WT and that's uh water in short. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's like I said, it's not bad. It's just like uh, this could have been so much better. The weapon assist, I believe, the first weapon assist you get is the Obelisk and Tormentor card. It's pretty okay, blue. It holds the same ability as uh, the Kaiba in Obelisk. Uh, it gives a skill boost, a team. RCV, a team HP, uh, time extend, super time extend, jammer resist, and uh, HP buff. And it's eh. Now, the card that we're looking at and that I currently have is Geneseto Kaiba and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. This is a really good card, as from what I heard, as a leader in a spell. Um, it's no Royal Oak, but it can be definitely good on a Royal Oak team. Uh, Neutron Blast attack will increase the attack of all water attributes and have damage for 3 turns. Delays your enemies for 3 turns, which the delay can be really good in certain dungeons. Uh, he's a triple seven skill boost, so his personal damage is great. It can do a lot of enhancement uh, for the amount of damage he will serve he will produce on the team or as the leader his leader skill is i decide my own future uh, 10 times attack and reduces damage and inflicts six thousand six million damage not six thousand six million damage with seven plus combos uh 2.2 times attack for all stats for water attributes so he's basically just a really buff water lead but uh, most people are probably going to use him on world oak as he can survive some of the things royal oak needs like uh, a lot of true damage um that you know buff damn that well that that defensive buff is really good too and then the only other thing i believe kaiba has that i am not showing off is the blue eyes ultimate card with the neutron blast attack as well it's just basically sharing some of the same things as the uh regular monster form this is one of the newer buffs that they gave uh for the game and then, uh, we got Merrick Ishtar, his winged dragon of Ra. Uh, Ra is trying to be a rainbow leader that about four other cards can do his job better. Um, even in his evolution, it's just everyone else just does it better. The no sky fall, uh, three combos when attacking with five attributes, four plus heal. Like, it's, like I said, it's not bad it's just other cards do his job a little better the artwork's nice though and i mean the skill boost the team you know the skill boost the true damage from the seven combo awakening the 10 combo awakening aren't bad you have a 
a super jam resist, which is not bad either. It's just is so much more potential if it wasn't locked behind such mediocre set. But the card itself is really good. It's a really good card. It's just there are better rainbow leaders, and even through its evolution, there's just still better options. Um, even the weapon assist isn't bad. It's just like I said, it's not good. The cloud, time extend, resist, then the heals. Um, it's, it's okay. Like, it's not bad. It's not good. It's just very middle. Uh, with that said, and I have two of those, we've already talked about... I don't, no, we haven't talked about Pegasus. Let's talk about Pegasus. So, Maximilian Pegasus in Tomb World. Of course, if you guys know the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, uh, Pegasus is their protagonist. I mean, antagonist, not protagonist. The first antagonist of the series. Uh, Tomb World is one of his unique cards. This is what put him on the field because there are tons of Tomb Monsters and they are all amazing. Uh, he has double time extend. He has a skill boost. He has a VDP and a, um, a super vine resist. If you don't know what a VDP is, this is this icon here. It has a couple of arrows pointing down. So VDP is basically, um, a shield that a, that an enemy will do and to break through that enemy's vdp uh, a vdp um here void damage piercer i was like the the term is void damage it will absorb damage on a cumulative or will reduce your damage if your damage does not hit the outlet a vdp allows you to match three by three orb square that's a, that's basically nine orbs of the same attribute as the monster and will boost their attack and ignore the void damage status and that's very good for a lot of current content um and a lot of cards are getting a lot of vdps because there's a lot of new content that's coming out whether it's you know the different in-game content or it's new dungeons are new in with new dungeon bosses or even floors and vdp can be very useful now pegasus will of course just like yugi will transform pegasus when he transforms becomes Rel Pe maximilian pegasus and relinquish relinquish is pegasus's ace monster um he gains 10 combo awakenings double seven combo awakenings uh some or some time movements. Uh, he also has two dark row enhances. So when a row of dark orbs is used, he increases the damage that he outputs. Uh, he has hypnotic attraction, which is the effect, I believe, of relinquished, where uh, he removes all locked orbs. He changes five non heal orbs into dark orbs, and he locks dark orbs. And because of him being a dark orb S card, uh, that is something very useful to take advantage of. And then he also has my illusion combo is incredible. Uh, he has a HP and RC being increased with each blind devil or god type in the team. 18 times attack and adds four combos when linking five dark orbs. So even as a dark orb leader, he's basically sufficing a really good setup. And you can easily combine him with uh, Yugi Moto. Because Yugi focuses on dark attributes as well. He focuses on dark. He also focuses on devil imbalance. So they're really good combo. The side effect they kind of somewhat hate each other. Well, I mean, that was like the original series. I know after uh, Duelist Kingdom, Yugi and uh, Pegasus basically made fences. And, you know, they had a really, I guess, decent enough relationship. Um, so Pegasus. In order to transform, he has to begin the shadow game. Begin the shadow game, where he has his HP and does the void. Oh, I talked about that already, but yeah, that's what Pegasus does in terms of his void. Really cool card, like I said. And aren't my tunes simply marvelous? Yeah, tunes. If they were actually make tune cards, I'd love to see what they would do with Pegasus. I think it would probably be Pegasus and tune. What's an iconic tune monster? It'd probably be tune blue eyes. I know Toon Summon Skull is in the artwork here with Toon World itself. So, yeah. I think I might just make regular cosmic Pegasus and then turn the Toon variation. I mean, turn the other Pegasus I have into himself. And I, that's pretty much about it in terms of everything that I've rolled. Um, I do actually want to show you guys 
of some of the other cards. Um, especially the ones I was just recently talking about. So where is not there's my Royal Oak. There's my Royal Oak. So this is Royal Oak. Cobalt Submarine Royal Oak. This guy is heavy duty. He starts off with a skill bind resist, so he doesn't have his his skills um slowed. He has triple skill boost, so he tries to haste himself into his uh, skill. His skill is Mode Change Assault, where he becomes Twin Cannon Cobalt Infiltrator Royal Oak. Yeah, we're getting a combination of Gundam, Dragon, Gundam, Transformation of Gundams, Zoids. We got all that here with the Royal Oak. Um, he gets three L Awakening, so matches of any of his colors, and he will unlock orbs, which is great. And then, uh, Royal Oak's gonna do some crazy shenanigans where he has Mode Change Knight. He will unlock all orbs, he will create 10 Water and Heal, and then the Great Floor Cobalt Conqueror, Royal Oak, will take the stage. Yeah, it's a three-turn transformation, the three transformation series, but this is the payoff that you get for the Royal Oak. Uh, Cobalt Conquer Dignity. Uh, half damage at three combos and inflicts five million damage with link with five linked uh, water parts. Two times HP and 20 times attack for water attribute. That's why I said Royal Oak definitely benefits from having Kaiba and Ultimate Dragon on the team because of how much stuff they do. In combination with all the blue, with all this water, all these water setups, it's just an amazing combination of things. And uh, a quit to my Royal Oak actually is one of my other uh, cards. This is Julia's uh, Mech Dragon Sector, uh, which doesn't give any haste or anything. It's just good for the bind resist because uh, he doesn't have that, and some jammer and poison resist as well. But yeah, that's my Royal Oak. Uh, the brother to the Royal Oak, who I've not rolled um, at all, and is actually featured in the Rare Egg Machine event, is this guy. This is Jade Submarine Nautilus. So Nautilus is also just like Royal Oak, and they do a whole bunch of transformations. Um, basically, everything that Royal Oak does for water, change it to wood. And that's basically what Royal Oak, that's what Nautilus does. Uh, even in Nautilus's transformations, which are amazing. Uh, Nautilus team is a lot harder to build than it is to build a Royal Oak team. And it's simply because most of Nautilus's roles that you need do come from Godfest exclusives. And you do have to roll RDMs to get it, unfortunately. Um, also, this is the RDM selection for um, for it as well. And the pooling rates here are, oh god, they are so horrible. They're worse than a regular Godfest. A super regular, no, they're worse than a super Godfest. Because this is basically a regular Godfest. And I'm going to tell you guys now. Mm, unless you're a new player, I wouldn't advise you to roll this unless you actually do roll a really good chance of getting one of the Savage Star Gothic exclusives who are at a 75% rate in a monster box where a lot of the things that you want are the lower rarities because everything else is Pantheon cards which I'm not gonna knock it Pantheon cards can be very useful there are a lot of good Pantheon cards it's just you don't want to be stuck with something that's part of the rare egg machine that deserves to stay in the rare egg machine like I don't know something like the Kraken Riders, I mean the, the Riders, you don't want any of them, like unless you're saying new. The only Three Kingdoms Series 2 card I would honestly say that would be useful is probably Jiao Chan, which I believe she's featured higher up, and that's where it was it, like unless you're a new player, most of these cards are not going to be useful to you, and there are some really good ones here that I can say. Um, I recommend Simi Yi uh, because he's a 7x6 board and I will introduce you to a leader who is 7x6 board. Um, you have Anubis who in his final form is a really good sub. Um, more so not as much of a leader as he used to be but a really good sub for early content. Um, Ariel when her evolution isn't too bad. Uh, 
I'm looking at the wood card, May May, because May May's new evolution is sick. So it's Sakuya. Did I forget about Haku? I did forget about lovely Haku. I mean, Haku's here. No, she's not. Wow, this is the first time they did not include Haku, but they include the other tiny special goddesses. Because Sakuya, Sakura, I mean, Sakuya's here. Sakuya's not bad. It's just Sakuya didn't get her new evolution yet. Her weapon assist is really cool because it's a board changer to four out of the five attribute and heal or so it's water wood fire light and heal it's not good as not bad as weapons it also gives a skill boost and the chances of those or sky falling uh may may got her new evolution due to the story collab so if you haven't played the story collab it is available i think at a certain point when you've ranked up and then you can basically use may may is a really good leader. I have the Mei Mei, I'll show you. Uh, Karen as well. Is Leyland here? Yes, she is. So you get the chance to actually use a lot of the really good cards. It's just some of them are a lot better than others, and you're lucky enough to get a lot of the really good ones if they kind of don't suck. Because a lot of, like I said, it's a lot of good ones here. It's just unfortunately they're Pantheon cards, and where a lot of us have been playing for years and years we've gotten those pantheon cards and just like there's not a buff and the weapon is in the new evolution it's just the new weapon it's just, and it's just like okay so, yeah i don't think i'm going to roll because the only thing i want from this is a nautilus i can wait for a super guy fist to have my chances there uh, otherwise, it'd just be Fagin or Hyde, I think. Like, let me take a look at it again. Um, not Grievous, because I don't... Dante, I'm not playing around with Dante. So, Nautilus, Athena, Fagin, Rai, Cecilia, uh, another skull, so I can at least have two skulls, Avalon, Trey, there's the chin. Oh, Haku moved up. That's right, because Haku best girl. Haku best girl. She's not Mei Mei, but she's best girl. Um, <laughs> and that's about it. Because everything else is pretty much, you better hope you roll it. And at least if you roll a God's Best exclusive, you have a decent enough leader. till you roll a really good card to be a, even better at that point. So. Yeah. Um, did I do any of my dailies? I don't think I did any of my dailies. Oh, I, oh, that's right. We don't have any dailies. Um, because of bullshit. But, uh, I am going to switch this Dark Magician girl for that second Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Uh, I'm also going to enhance this Wing Dragon. Alright. Lovely enough. These wing dragons already come max skilled. So any card that's a transformation card already comes max skilled. I'm going to uh that's it I said that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna give him that uh the equipped where is it? The the bricks, which I believe are already equipped. But fuck it, I'm going to equip them. Like what happened. Oh, it'd be on Dark Magician Girl. So that means this is probably a car. Okay. Okay. I know it's gonna sort my favorite chat as well. I believe the blocks will we'll I will see the blocks, but I won't be able to put because I'd have to take it off. Why my damn block? I have apocalypse. I didn't know that. Apocalypse kind of eh, very meh. Really good on oh, that team's kind of dead. Never mind. So meh. <laughs> um, is it down? No, it's really down here. Don't find me. I did not roll a, a what's the name? What is it? Oh no, you know what? It's probably a okay, so what I'm looking for is the stacks of bricks. There we go. Alright, so left. Yes, remove all the Dark Magician girl and then give it to 
Yeah. Alright, so my wing dragon uh now has that equipped to him. I'm going to get wing dragon a uh, snow globe so wing dragon can max out. Alright. So yeah, alright, that there it goes. My EV. I gotta put laces on this thing. Where's the skill resist? Wizards should be enough. If anything. I know I have Dark Magician already on the team as well. So, that's another thing I just don't have to worry about is I have Dark Magician. I have my uh my wing dragon. Like this is basically basic ETT. Like two wing two to three wing dragons. I actually don't have my dark magician here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put my dark magician on the team. Right, where is Dark Magician? Where is the uh... I think he's pure dark, right? Yeah. Cheeky Pegasus. Where are you, Dark Magician? There you go, Dark Magician. Okay, so I need to buff my Dark Magician. Oh, I gotta do a whole lot of stuff with Dark Magician. Alright, so... Five of these on Dark Magician. Alright. And then, yep, max guilt. Alright. We're gonna do this as well. Where is my Dark Globes? Oh, wow, I really don't have a lot of Dark Snow Globes. I don't think I have many of Snow Globes, period. Right. I just have my Dark Magician together. Uh -huh. yeah. The Dark Magician. And I think the Dark Magician card. Oh, it's a skill boost. That's damn, I wish I had two Dark Magicians in. I could give skill boost to you as well. Or at least to himself. Like have Dark Magician and then put the Dark Magician card. Alright. Um <laughs> So, once it has Dark Magician, uh, what weapons is going to do Dark Magician? That'd be actually really good for Dark Magician. Mmm, this ring. Ring's not bad. I guess basic stuff for Dark Magician. Uh, Rafflesia. Rafflesia? Keepsake. That's not bad either. I want uh, our arrows are locked, but you can pierce through your enemy's defenses. So then you can just make the L unlock and go from there. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, Haku's gym. Uh, water, dark, and fire on. A skill boost, a bomb resist, which I already think Dark Magician comes with a personal bind resist, so uh, it might be the Haku or Rafflesia. I get this uh, it's the egg of oh the egg of wrath. So a creepy too. You know, I think for the most I'm gonna start it off with the I'm gonna start off with the egg of wrath. You can see it Or. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're going to Oh, yeah. we're definitely going to freeze you. Or Rafflesia. I don't know. I don't know if people pronounce it Rafflesia or Rafflesia. I pronounce it Rafflesia because, you know, just the way the name is spelled. Um, some people pronounce it Rafflesia, which I'm not. I'm not scolding you, but I'm looking at you with these eyes. Anyways, <laughs> um, this is pretty much my standard EQ team. There's nothing spectacular about it. It's just basically EQ <laughs> and himself and his 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 so his best iconic monsters. If anything, 
Um, I definitely should try this out. Uh, not in Tuesday's arena. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I'm not doing this. Um, maybe, yeah, Spirit Jewel. Do I have a duty to so, uh, I don't think any of my friends are playing week yet. So I don't have any matches. So mm. Mm. Excuse me, for one easy. Alright. I'm play some easy with you, Tio. So, Alright, my Dark Magicians are actually already ready. I mean, like, Wing Dragons are already ready. Go ahead and there we go, and then they transform. That transformation time animation is pretty okay. The art skins are okay as well. I wasn't really expecting much out of the Yu Gi Oh! collabs of uh, art skins, but these look pretty cool. Alright. Uh, 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 let me move around. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and this music in background, this is from T. Lopes. Uh, he is the main composer of Sonic Mania. And it's actually one of his final tracks. This is Wild Style Pestolaro uh, from Mariah Saloon Act 1 Knuckles Mix. Yeah, this is from Knuckles, uh, Knuckles Mighty and Ray's uh, exploration of, uh, of that area. And I am fucking this up. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I got the attack buff. So not bad. Oh, that means that Reflation is doing really good on the team. So we can start off like this. But, uh, who's the boss? Is it Haku? Of course, it's the lovely Haku. Um, that didn't do much, by the way. <laughs> it wasn't meant to. Ooh, you can hear the sleepy in me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've had a long day today. Work, oh, work was work. It was a thing. I wonder if my friends are on. Uh, damn, no. <laughs> okay, damn that went. That went places. <laughs> oh, that went places. Um. So yeah, the spirit gems. When you face the Chinese celestial goddesses, um, there's a chance that they will drop their spirit jewel card. Um, this is good for a lot of high up evolutions. Uh, fun fact: uh, each of the Chinese celestial goddesses themselves need these for their evolutions. So uh, yeah, those are a thing. This is a Siryu Seven Star Form. Ancient. This is the card that gives Kyren her uh, skill boost. Uh, by the way, all the Spirit of Jewels give the skill boost to the Awoken forms are higher for the Chinese Celestial Goddesses. Uh, this is the Jewel of Light. It has King's uh, Bestorious Dance. And I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, this gives uh, Sequoia, her skill up. Uh, and then we have the Jewel of Darkness, Byaku 7 Star Formation. This gives uh, our girl Haku her skill boost. Uh, there's the Jewel of Wood, that is for Mei Mei, and the Jewel of Fire, that is for Leyland. Or Leyland. I think it's Leyland, because it's not pronounced in a yeah, see, the Jewel of uh, Wood, and then the Jewel of Fire, which I have plenty of these, by the way. I just wanted to at least see what the Yugi team looked like. Um, I need some more quest dungeons, though, because I've not finished my quest dungeons, actually. Um, these guys have not finished my quest dungeons at all. Okay. So, you know what? We're going to spend some time today during today's live stream. We're going to do some of these. Uh, the quest dungeons are now broken up into different aspects. So, yeah, this is kind of going to suck ass. 
uh, those are six teams. There's the Sky Falls. Those are the ones for the rainbows. Uh, fairy water. Four cards are left. So, um, any dark team leaders I can get up with really well? No. And my other account is not on, so I've not touched it. So, alright. Um, a team of four more. I mean, four or less. So, I'll just X out one team. Uh, actually, I want to show you guys my main main team. Now, this is my lovely Mei Mei. This is Rocking Gimbu Princess Mei Mei. Uh, Mei Mei's outfit is based off of her storyline in the game itself, which I don't think you can play anymore, unfortunately, um, due to it's a time lapse. So the next time it comes around will probably be when the Pad Academy comes around, and then you can actually um, play around with the Rocking Gimbu Princess Mei Mei evolution, uh, which is not a bad evolution, but you do need a specific item that you only get if you complete the story, and that is the Electric Biwa, which is a really cool instrument from the Chinese folklore. Um, and they just basically rocked it out. And this is on my line of, of Mei Mei's. I have one super reincarnated Mei Mei, but I don't have Mei Mei's earring. I have four super, I have four reincarnated Mei Mei. That was for a team a while ago. And then that's about it. <clears throat> but yeah, that's my Gimbu Princess Mei Mei. My Gimbu Queen Mei Mei. Because we stand my Mei Mei. Uh, also on the team is uh, any of you... Magic the Gathering fans, you probably know her. This is Giora, the we the Weather Light Champion. Uh, Giora is not too bad of a card either. She kind of just fell to the wayside as a really good um, blind clearer, but there's been so many better ones over the years that because Magic the Gathering doesn't have a frequent collab or a frequent... Uh, how should I put this? If your collab doesn't come around this much, you don't get any really big boost. So, sadly enough, Mei Mei didn't get that, unfortunately. But I'm always gonna hop into one of these chat rooms and just hit this unlock for a minute. You know, like, he's in the thing. Yeah, I'm in the thing. And probably zone out, too. Discord stuff, guys. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was my rocking Gimbu says Mei Mei. I mean, I will, sorry, that's my, um, Giora, uh, and then we have, of course, uh, this is the, uh, transforming card, this is Dragon Skin Merchant Poloni, and, I mean, <sighs> Polo, yeah, Polone, sorry, not Poloni, Polone, Polone transforms into, uh, Ironclad Dragon Merchant Polone, uh, which is the better of the evolutions from the Dragon Bound Dragon Callers, uh, because, Pallone has the ability, what her skill is actually called, uh, Wander Pocket, uh, which basically does a Void Damage Absorption and Attribute Absorption for one turn, on a nice 8 turn cooldown, because, uh, this team can actually get her to her cooldown uh, relatively fast, and then the other card that's on the team, and I swear this better have a, why am I using the wrong one, uh, this is my Awoken Goddess of Power, Kali, uh, also known as D Kali, uh, because she's one of the most infamous of cards. She was a really, she's a really good goddess exclusive, just because she's a rainbow leader. She kind of fell back a bit because rainbow teams aren't as prevalent, but I do have her on a sort of rainbow team oriented team because she can create basically all attributes plus heal, and then she removes. Uh, she reduces unmatchable bind orb status for five turns. Oh, and she also orb unlocks, which is great. But I wonder why does my why does this one not have a weapon assist? I think the none of it. Oh wow, they don't. I just could have sworn one of my Hakus. I mean, one of my Maymays did. I, I mean, one of my Kali's did. Oh God, I'm just all over the place. So we're actually yeah. Let's find my other Dark Kali. She should be here. Hold on. Where is she? I can't leave the screen. There she goes. Okay, she's the one with the blunt. Not the best weapon in sus, but she has a weapon in sus. Alright, so I'm gonna equip this this Kali with a weapon in sus. Um Any good options? 
<laughs> God, my options are limited. It's been kind of a fuck. Um. No, I don't want the boost of fire in dark. Because it's more prevalent for the team. Mm. What do you do? I forget what you do. Stop killing me. <laughs> okay, so fuck it. Egg of Wrath. Jesus Christ, I forgot it to be, does that because he's not skilled up. So, uh, yeah, that's also the other downside to weapon assist. If the weapon assist is equipped, the skill the weapon assist have will have additional wait period based on the skill of the card it's equipped to. And it does also depend on how max skill that card's max skill is as well, and as you can see. I'm waiting 27 turns when the skill of the Egg of Wrath is actually a one that's on 12 turns, so it would have been 20. So, yeah, and then add all the skill boost and stuff too. So, all right, we're gonna be rocking May May. I was gonna rock Yugi, but um, I don't know. I just I don't want to have to do Yugi shit. Um, we're also going to be teaming up with Thunder Lord Zenogre. If you play Monster Hunter, yeah, he's here. Uh, Zenogre is an awesome card. I wish I had him. I wish I had him. If if Monster Hunter comes around and it does frequently come around, I'll exchange to get Zenogre um, on the team because Zenogre is awesome. Alright, so why don't we show off with Xenogre do? Xenogre paired with any of the Chinese Celestial Goddesses is a fucking godsend because um, he says if you match four orbs, doesn't matter what color they are, uh, he'll give you a follow-up attack bonus. Uh, and his bonus is actually pretty fucking good. Um, hold on, I need to actually transform. I'm actually shocked that my skill did set up itself. Awesome. Alright, so with Gimbu Mei Mei, Mei Mei doesn't have much of a time limit. She has like 15 seconds. But the payoff is that Mei Mei's uh, active skill uh, is a board changer. A uh, really good board changer. It changes to water, wood, and white. But you also can see here she has a lot of others. That is because if you match all the attributes, she does more damage. And the more damage you want, you do the more damage you can, you know, help you clear things out the way. So that's definitely what I'm going to be doing with my princess Mei Mei, or my Gimbu princess Mei Mei. Well, this is technically the um, other Mei Mei. Um, I guess I should, can talk about Mei Mei's weird evolution kick, huh? So, each of the Chinese Celestial Goddesses got a new evolution. Uh, more split evolution through their evolution path. I didn't like Mei Mei's story because unfortunately, Mei Mei's story was her going through Pad Academy, which I think was only filtered because we had, here in the NA, we waited, we had to wait for so long for it. I wanted something more on the basis of what the other Chinese Celestial Goddesses got, because Haku, Karen, all got really good weapons, I mean, really good evolution. And it was just sucks, because Mei in what I'm hearing, is not going to get really good ones. And I wish they did. I honestly wish they did. It would have been really cool. Um, uh, ha, suck it, Izanami. Uh, yeah, just wish they had. Oh, lullaby. Oh, that didn't work because all my cards have blind resist. Yay. But yeah, like, it's just. They do. Oh, shit. Um, you know what? I took too long. Oh, it didn't matter because look at all that damage it dropped. Thank you, Skyfall. Barna. I mean, Alarane. Alright. So. Yeah. I am freedom. Alright. Oh, that's right. Um, my Mei Mei has an L unlock. Because they didn't give her VDP. And I had to give her the VDP latent. Which 
also pretty fucking stupid. Um, oh my god, it's Gronia. It's Red Dragon, it's Jade Dragon Caller Sonya. I did not expect to run into you, but this is base form Dragon Caller. Uh, J Dragon Caller Sonya. So she actually won't give us much trouble. Um, she's just real angry. I don't know, I think somebody stepped in her chair, pissed in her Cheerios. Yeah, yeah, that is, um, one of the lower floors. Which floor is this? This is Weapon Assist Invalid? Awesome. Alright. In the freedom. Oh, you just... Oh, cool. Alright, uh... Let's do this one. But it takes out another monster. Yeah, that's fine. Looking for the clues. A fire, 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 fire like flame. Venus! Hi, Venus! Unfortunately, Venus, your time debuff is not gonna do anything to me. This is re- I think this is re- No, Awoken Venus, the goddess of love. Uh, sadly enough, Venus kinda sucks. <laughs> like, they tried to buff Venus, and it just- Shwish! That's the best it does, it shwish. Alright. I'm also though, just like Venus was a really good card, it's just unfortunately she kinda sucks now. Um, this is Sasuke. Grand Ninja Sasuke. Sasuke in his weapon assist. Great weapon assist. And his ninja form, uh you might as well hit that weapon assist. Weapon assist is better. But this is gives a skill boost, he gives an immunity to a Hazard and uh, just better stuff. Uh, I think it's actually his scrolls that he transforms into. So, if you like his artwork, he's gonna definitely transform into his skulls. Your souls. Hi, Leland. How are you? Yes, this is uh, Gimbu. I mean, not Gimbu. This is um, that's. Wow, yeah, that's sick. So, yeah. No, that's uh that's Leyland. This is a uh, Heavenly God Suzuku Leyland. Still not a bad card. Uh, Alright. Leyland is out of the way. Oh, she didn't drop a jewel. She dropped her jewel of fire. Oh, this asshole. This is um this is Shai Wu Jang. Shai Wu Jang? Uh, has one nasty ability, uh, and I'm gonna have to prepare to deal with it. Uh, Alright, so I need to basically just do a nice matchup here, because I'm gonna need a follow-up attack. Um, Wu has a, um, it's called a follow-up attack, or, well, no, it's not follow -up. It's... If you play Final Fantasy, it's called a Desperation Attack. If you play Puzzles and Dragons, it's a Resolve. There we go. Uh, he has a Resolve for when he hits a slow HP. Um, at the end, he will do a massive amount of damage. Oh, it's Hell. Loki's daughter. Um, she's not a threat. But yeah, Resolves are a thing. They can be very nasty in a lot of situations. Um... So they created the method of what's called a follow-up attack, where a card, if it does things in a certain requirement, they will do additional stuff. Uh, for this team, while I'm using uh, Zenogre, uh, when Zenogre matches four or more attributes, he will inflict um, true. He'll inflict follow-up damage. So that would mean I don't have to use the a card with the icon for follow-up attack. Which is, thank God. Um, Alright, so that's one. That's two. Um, I need a team with all attributes, which I can easily play here. Because my team has all attributes. Uh, including A10. This is A10. This is Mega Woken Sunset God A10. Uh, A10 has basically almost every killer awakening on him. Which is really cool. Uh, that's Aten's awesome animation, which Mega Woken cards get. 
uh, super reincarnated cards get, and a few other cards get this. this uh, Godfest exclusives get that when they go into their form. Because, uh, fun fact, K10 is a Godfest exclusive and a really good one. Uh, primarily because he's a really good sub. His ability is Sunset uh, Reasoning, where he will change the board to all attributes, heal, jammer, and he will increase your old movement time for two for times two for one turn. But there's no skyfalls, and in certain dungeons, you actually don't want the skyfalls because the skyfall can be very just uh, devastating. So they try to do a lot of no skyfall leaders, or even to a point where they'll try cards that have the abilities that will have no skyfall so that they don't take less damage. But yeah, I do have an 18 on this team. I can switch 18 for Dark Cali because Dark Cali can be a lot better. But it depends on your team, huh? Um, I should have Cloud Resist, which is great. Uh, my Jammer Resist didn't work, sadly. But it's fine. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start uh, collecting orbs and see how that works. Uh, I got to hurry too because I am on a short cooler and cool down. And I don't have enough red orbs. Yeah, I didn't have enough red orbs, but it's fine. Oh, look at that tree damage. Just got all the cards on the team that do tree damage is going to be doing. So that's what, um, the small friend, she, oh, Griffin, uh, uh, the Griffin, this is, uh, Stormhawk Dragon, uh, Kuraji. Alright, Kuraji, uh, this is actually Sylvia's evolution, if you guys don't know who she is, she's another, uh, she's a low-level Godfest exclusive, but, um, yeah, that's her skill up. Oh, nice skyfall. Nice skyfall. Right. And thanks to Cologne, I have a fog attack, which is great for his, uh, for his, one of his abilities. So he just, they, wow, this dungeon just has nothing but these guys. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Uh, what, what, what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. I really do appreciate it. I, I really thank um Kai for for the uh what the raid. Oh I, I really do appreciate it. And I it, it is so funny because I'm normally part of raids. It's a rare occasion that I get a raid, but I really do enjoy it. Okay, ha, okay. Kylie, do your thing, Queen. Ah, there she goes. Time to clear all those nasty bombs. And then I'm going to do that. Alright. But yeah, it was really nice of him too. Okay. okay, I have this on shuffle. And I have over 200 songs in this playlist. Why am I still getting the same songs? Hold on, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play a different level stage and see how that goes. Alright. Oh, a lot of this is gonna be Sonic music. I, I should, should wear. I'm a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan. So you wear here a lot of Sonic. There's gonna be some. There's not gonna be any Mario because I told you. It's not Koji Kondo's fault. It's more so Nintendo. Um, but yeah, you're not gonna hear, unfortunately. I have a lot of Sonic music here. Oh, let's see if I can uh, get some of it on here. Let's do this one, play this. Uh, there's some Yu-Gi-Oh music, I think, because this is a Yu-Gi-Oh collab. Play some of the Yu-Gi-Oh music. Eternal Duel with Soul. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is the Champions music from Eternal Duel with Soul. The first of the Nintendo... Uh, it game the Game Boy Advance game. Sorry, I'm gonna say the two bullets. This to know, but yeah, and it kind of sucks too because I would have loved to have heard a lot of this music on the uh, on like later games. I know some, if not all, of the music in Yu Gi Oh does get reused in certain games. It's just the Game Boy Advance games. 
they are just so amazing and I wish Konami would have done stuff with them but I guess that I guess they're just like Nintendo no nostalgia Cause like if if the rumors are true I definitely would love to have seen Konami put some Yu-Gi-Oh games on the virtual console for the switch um, you know, just so that we can relive a lot of the memories of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games. Because if I get an Elgato, guys, my Switch will be played on here. No lie, my Switch, my phone will be playing my Switch. Uh, what did I just clear? I think it's one of the, the nine dungeons. I think it's the one that said I needed all attributes. Yep. So I only have a few left. I have the fix team, and then I have challenge ten. Challenge ten, uh, no skyfall and regular challenge ten. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do uh, challenge ten. We're gonna kill off a uh, thousand magic stones. Let's see. What, I mean, thousand MP. Let's uh, stamina, not MP. Stamina. Let's see what we got here. Seven floors. Oh, it's throat. Okay. I was gonna say, this is a that we all got a problem. And oh, there's a sock that actually. Oh, there's a nasty sock that. So, Egyptian God sock that is also. Like, Bells and Dragons makes lots of references to a lot of, you know, gods, goddesses, heroes, and stuff throughout the world. Um, sock that is one encounter you don't want to run into. Uh, sock that has a ugh, it's so nasty um he has a desperation attack um he has a void no he has void damage there we go he has void damage uh shield and you have to break the void you have unfortunately you don't have much time to do that so you have to do it on a specific timer and oh fuck me are you serious did he really just Oh, thank God I had heal orbs on the field. Okay, oh, uh, he has to go up. No, he, okay, he's gonna change my orbs. And then do that. Dick. Hit you with that. Hit that. Hit you with that decali unlocked. Alright, uh, I just can't match fire? Okay, so I just can't match fire in dark. Uh, okay, so we're not gonna match fire and dark. Okay, good. We didn't match fire and dark. I have one more turn of skyfall on. Jesus Christ. Okay, so skyfall or poison is gone. Uh, I don't. My team is just not ready for this bullshit. I'm gonna try my best. Uh, can I push? Because I don't have attribute absorption actually on, on any of my cars. Oh, yeah, I don't have any attribute absorption. Oh, it sucks. Alright. Can I overpower him? Ooh, almost died. Okay. Um. Okay, activate Mei Mei. Oh, Zeno Girl was up. Okay, well, I can use him. Uh, okay. It's fine, though, because we're... I got some heal coming. Uh, as well. Okay. Or I think somebody on the team has a heal. Well, no one on team has a heal. Holy shit. I'm gonna die to an attack that I'm not gonna wanna run into. Oh, please don't preemptive. Please don't preemptive. Oh, you yeah, have three turns of that. Okay. Which actually, no. I think we should be able to clear that if I match enough attributes. Which I don't think I can. Uh, because somebody doesn't have. I don't have white. Skyfall light, Skyfall light, Skyfall light. Skyfall light in all the wrong places. Yeah, I gotta wait. So, but actually, let's pop this. 
Oh no, I'm gonna have to wait. Ah. Okay, fuck this unicorn. What? Oh, and this is, uh, it's not Cyber Track. This is Techno Base, Act 1 from Sonic Advance. I need to get back to Sonic Advance pretty soon, because I know a lot of people are actually waiting for me to finish the Sonic Advance trilogy. I'll finish it. I'll finish it. When I get the chance to finish it. I know a lot of people are actually waiting for it. The thing is, I gotta do the Chaos Emeralds. And then I still gotta beat Knuckles and Tales of Stories. And those are already a headache. So, ugh. Oh, no, I max five attributes. I think the, um, the VDP thing is gonna, the VD is gonna work on this. Yeah, okay. Not as much as I thought it was. Okay. Uh, whose theme is this? Oh, this is Kaiba. This is Kaiba's theme. Uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh! World Champ- No, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul. This is Ka Seto Kaiba's theme. Yeah, Kaiba has a theme. This is it. It's not a bad theme, either. Cow. Okay, I have one more turn on this, uh, nasty damage stuff. Magical so orbs. See how far I can get. Uh, I should have all five attributes. Yep, I have all five attributes. <laughs> okay, well, it's fine, it's fine. Because you know what? Uh, ooh, 88 turns. Okay, so what? So what? He has 88 turns. We we can break through this. Alright, get a, some heal. I'm gonna match up my fire orbs. I'm gonna match up my wood. Yeah, see, look at that. And I'm gonna need some skill charges on my other team. On my, on my, uh, on my partner over there on the side. So. Yeah. Okay, he's not hitting me for too much damage, which is good, because I don't want to be hit for that much damage. Alright. There we go. That's an ugly set. It's just fine. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm not going to feel it on my stomach. I am hungry. Did I eat last night? Oh yeah, I did eat last night. Oh no, my my ability, my skills. Refresh, four clear. VDP is on the board. Is this? Yeah, this is Joan of Arc. I don't like Jonah Hart. I found her to be a little class A. I hate this combination of stuff though. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Uh, take, uh, take, resist. Bomb. That's what a Tim is here to help clear. Alright. So thank you to Tim for help clearing the bomb. But I'd rather deal with generous than bombs. Oh shit, I didn't match all my attributes. Uh Skyfall. Are you serious? Another turn of this shit? Ugh. My shit is really getting on my nerves. So, I have to wait now for skill boost, but luckily I did match some more. 
Okay. Oh, I didn't know she did that. Damn. If I could. I'll buy more magic stones later. Alright. So, fuck you, Jonah Ark. I didn't know you had that much desperation. That much more desperation attack. Uh, match colors, people. Match colors. Ugh. Alright. John of Arc defeated. Oh, I got two floors left. This is Muse. Alright, Muse, I need nine or more combos. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Wow, it sucks how light was not the focus of that. That should be changed. Alright. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Bob the cat. Cyber track at three. Gawain. Oh, that may not be good. This is Gawain. Ah, uh, Gawain has VDP. I need to break. Oh, VD. I need to break. He has, uh, oh god, he has the second highest combo set, too? Jesus Christ. 13, 14, alright. This is all on the first turn, too. I'd be shocked if I get through this. Uh, benches. Alright. Nine turns now. Uh... Smash away. Okay. But I, I, ugh, if I had a different team, I'm not even gonna lie. I actually, this would have worked out a lot better. Just, just not gonna lie. It would have, it could have worked out a lot better. Uh, sadly enough, this Maymay's team itself is all rainbow. And it's, I think I said this earlier when I was talking about Merrick. A rainbow team is not bad. The Achilles heel of the rainbow team is the fact that you need so many orb colors to do what a bicolor or tricolor board leader would do on his own. Which, fun fact, May May is supposed to be been that. Uh, the thing is, everyone liked it Rainbow, because maybe Haku and Leyland, and in the future Sakuya and even Kyren, do focus on that. The problem is that most of these cards don't have that aspect attached to them, to where you could do more for less. And they don't have like the same really combo that most of these guys are gonna have. Uh, Dawn's a new day. Look. Damage. Alright. Oh, that's something that's not gonna affect me. Time extend. Because, uh, fun fact, this team does not care. And that is simply because my leader has an automatic skill, and her skill overwrites that.
Oh wow, 16 turn. No, 18 combo. Okay. Manipulating the board. Okay. Uh, I want to activate. Oh, Pokemon music. Oh, is this National Park? It is National Park. This is very nice easy track, by the way. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, I didn't get ten, so he's gonna heal. Fuck. Hopefully not for red sugar. Manipulate the board. Okay. Try to move this purple into position. Okay. Oh, eight turns. Okay. Is May May up? Yes, she is. But no one else on the team has VDP. Yeah, you don't. You, know, you guys have the other skill that I can use a rainbow to make the VDP. Such good music. In a very stressful situation. <laughs> okay. Oh god, if it wasn't so expensive, I definitely would love to play um uh heart gold nah, yeah, heart gold soul silver. What the fuck is this bullshit? Like, no, Gawain, fuck you. Fuck. <sighs> I'm so close. Damn it. Damn it. I was so close. Oh, I'm out of H I'm out of HP. I'm out of stamina. Damn it. Ugh. I don't know, I'm out of stamina for those, never mind. I'm out of stamina for the higher up dungeons. Cause I think all the lower ones I can do, huh? Yep. Yeah. Uh, except for the fixed team. I don't know what the fixed team is. Alright, I got into my inventory. Uh got some watering can dungeons I can open up though. Uh these are just one time clears. They're not anything spectacular. Why did it cost thirty? Oh, damn. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna switch. I wanna use uh, one of my other teams. I'm gonna use Leyland. So this is new Leyland. She's um Guardian Spirit Claw. She's a good Leyland. And uh this actually this dungeon. So this is in con connection with the um the water spirits that I was telling the water fairies that I was telling you guys about. Yeah. This is their this is a uh, part of their collab. Uh which their collab can be frequent, um, because it's a gun ho it's, it's a gun ho collab. So gun ho collabs can come back, and then they can like have a lot of it, stuff added to them. But uh, this is the one that will only show up, unfortunately, in the RDM. Um, so yeah, it'll have its own exclusive. Damn, I know I didn't do that much damage. Oh, that's right, because it's a gift. Gift dungeons don't have much for you to worry about. Um, it's like the binge over and fuck you in the ass like some other dungeons I can tell you. Anyway, um, 
Okay, I forgot I can do poultry damage and still clean house. And uh, because this is a gift, I get uh, everything in the dungeon. So all the clears um, that I do, uh, all of the eggs that drop, those are your rewards. Uh, they also can drop a treasure chest, which will have money. Um, if I was rocking the right leader, I could enhance that money. Uh, Ganesha from the Indian Gods collab. Indian Gods 1, Ganesha. Uh, what his base forms evolution. Uh, that Ganesha will allow me to enhance my money output. Which works great in certain dungeons. So, yeah. Do, do, do. All right, there we go. And then uh, the last battle is just yeah. This is basically just me going through and getting these guys, which I like these guys. They are awesome. And what are they? They are watering cans, which I can use to evolve other creatures, or to make certain creatures their uh, weapon assist, or make a certain uh, bottle. A weapon assist. Uh, the bottle evolutions. I can actually talk about those. Are just evolutions of I as weapon assists that come into the game, and they can be item. They can be evolved. Um, but you need particular little evolutions to do such. Uh, sadly enough, uh, the item that I'm talking about is called the clear. It's called the watering. But the water. Hold on. I think I should have some still. Or I think don't think I do. Or it's in the here it is. The fairy stone bottle. So you see all these evolutions? You need the fairy stone bottle to help you get a lot of these. Some of these are a lot better than others. And then some of these should kinda just be in a fire pit of hell. Cause they really suck. You see those on the right that has the, the the sword next to it? That decreases your attack power by a thousand. Yeah. Uh, and I also need rainbow. I need to make some rainbows. So I can get some of these. Because some of these bottles I do want. And some of these I don't want. Like I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I have that one. I don't want this one because it's all negative effects. And then, then the things that they do for their positive benefits, I don't even want. Okay, so I'm gonna make my last fairy bottle. I'm gonna turn it into a bottled hydrangea, which will give water rose. It'll change all the ores to water, and it'll give me a 50% or more HP buff. So yeah, let me go do that. And I just need to make. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Calamity Dragon Almage? What the fuck is this ugly thing? Darkest Miss Calamity Dragon Almage. Oh, uh, this must be for one of the collabs. So. Mm, okay, Monster Exchange. Uh, I need five, right? Yeah, dude. Oh, that means I'm not going to get my hydrangea. No, cause my hydrangea is all blue. But I need a total of. Oh, I need a lot of shit. Hold on. That I probably don't have. Oh yeah, I don't. Cause I'm not turning to my most amazing to that. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I really am gonna have to use all these, huh? Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's get the ones that I know. Okay, there's two. One, two, three. One, two. Luckily, I do have the option to use another one of these to get more. Uh, Okay, so four, 
How many do I need? Okay. So we can just play the other water dungeon to get the other ones. So basically I can get all what I just used up back and then some. But then these next two. I should be using Ganesha. I don't know why I'm not using Ganesha. Road to Nowhere. Ruin Nation. From Crash 2. And uh, if you hear added percussion, that's because this is the insane trilogy's version of Crash 2. Which um, insane trilogy? Go, go buy. It's good. Go buy. It's really good. Um, I love it, because it's memory lane for me. Actually, I can tell you this, too. Uh, go buy Insane Trilogy. Go buy, um, Reignited Trilogy. Spiral and Crash, they made their comeback. They, they're, they're great. They're awesome, and the games are fantastic. If I can, I definitely want to stream Spyro. Um, if... I don't know if if fake Stuart Copeland account doesn't come and try to come for my life and come for my neck. Yeah, actually, I wanted to talk about that um, now that I have some time. So, uh, for those who know, I was streaming Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Edition, right? Here's the kicker. Um, my Insane Trilogy stuff got uh, muted. Because a fake account claimed that they, that I was using music that was not theirs. So the guy who I did talk to, who originally wrote the Crash music, they're like, we don't have an account on Twitter. I mean, we don't have an account on Twitch, and we're complaining about you playing the music. They're like, dude, you just, there's like, just be very careful because there are people out there who are making fake accounts. And they're posing themselves as, you know, these video game uh, producers and video game artists. And they're not. Well, artists in general who, you know, are no board of the game. I usually say these, quote, video game, end quote, artists. No, like, they're artists. And they make video game music. Really cool video game music. Anyway, okay, I got a plethora of these things. I thought they could go ball by them. My bottom. Where's my bottle? Alright. No, because I need to make my hydrangea. Okay, so. Uh. One, two, three, four. Alright. Alright. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And fun fact, uh, there is a dungeon which I can get um, a lot of this stuff. She's not doing it. Um, Where's that bottle? So I can walk my hydrangea. I mean, make my hydrangea bottle. Yeah. Awesome evolution. Bottle hydrangea. Which uh, weapon is this? What well, can come back level? Hi Shantae, you got snubbed in Smash, and you should have been an actual character. Oh, that was a blue bottle. Where's my blue? Alright. Oh, I need two. Okay. Well, maybe the fusion will make it better. It did. Alright. So, yeah. Alright. So, oh yeah, back to the story. I'm sorry, I got, I, I jacked myself. Um, but yeah. I had to go through loops and hurdles. I filed an appeal. And I'm waiting for my appeal to be approved. Uh, we really? Uh, hold on, guys. I let me do let me do this real quick. I gotta, I gotta block my window capture. Um, I'm only blocking it because I'm about to go buy magic stones. 
actually I'm gonna check my bank account first then I'm gonna buy that only because I need to be a I need to be a responsible adult in tomorrow's rent case and I don't know when I'm getting that Golden State um, check uh, anyone who's from California have you received your Golden State stimulus check that our um, our current uh non douchebag guy said he was supposed to be giving us. Oh, I feel pretty good in the clear. Okay. Ooh, this means I could probably have an excuse to buy my magic. I mean, to roll. Probably not in Yu-Gi-Oh collab, but or maybe in Yu-Gi-Oh collab. Well, I don't want Exodia. That's the only thing is I don't have anywhere to put Exodia. If I roll Exodia's card. So. Eighty or sixty. Oh, that's fifteen stones. Oh, and these are all the low ones. Huh? The two magic stones, seventeen. Mm. I'm tempted. Considering what I just saw too. I'm very tempted. You know what? Uh, I'll get the I'll get the sixty stones. I'll get the sixty. Jesus Christ, fingerprints. Oh, and all this stuff I spent today. Uh -huh. I need to check my Google Voice. I think I might. Some more. Oh, for it. Uh, <gasps> Ooh, I can use my points. I can get 30 free magic stones. Yes, use my points. God damn it. I hate this finger press shit. It's getting my nerves. Uh, open app. All right. Yeah, I got special gift. Ooh, okay. Alright, guys. Okay, look, I said I wasn't gonna do this. I lied. We're only playing in the Magic Stones. We're playing some Magic Stones. I wonder what I'll get. Ooh, diamond. Diamonds are good. Diamonds are great. Diamonds are not great when they're a new bit. Diamonds are not great when they're new, but a diamond, Nautilus, Loki. Diamonds are not your friends. Diamonds are not our friends. I mean, diamonds should be our friends, but diamonds are not our friends. Oh, is everything here a diamond? <sighs> Shit. Um. Aranod. Aranod. Ara not good. Okay. Um oh I don't have room. Huh. Yeah, I don't. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. That's room. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's room. Alright. That's it. That's really not good. Oh, God. God, I basically have all the back evolutions. I'm kind of waiting for an event that's going to say, hey guys, look, you can exchange. May May. Man, I'm helping May May. Ugh, something said, just why did you roll this? You're not going to get it. I'm, I'm not going to get both. 
I mean, sub. Because that's what I want. I want, I want red, I want green sub. That's not green sub. Although, I think, is that my first Kraken Rider? No, it's my second Kraken. I'm 90 stones, I'm already almost halfway through. Razzle? Maybe I should try that trick where I exit out and then I close things. The fuck are you? Wheeze. Weep. Oh my god, now they're giving me the bad shit. Alright. God, I was better off in the Yu-Gi-Oh clan. You guys don't even my business. Alright, let's go back. Ah! Ancient Egypt for Crash Bandicoot Wars. Why, well, yeah, you're still here. That's awesome. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate it. Do, 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 do. Um, what the hell am I doing? Oh, I was making bad decisions. All right. I have not rolled a god fest exclusive. I think I did. It was a, not a good one. Ah, oh, Diao Chan. I have so many damn Diao Chan. It's like funny. I do. I have two of her regular form, one of her alluring form. I don't have an awoken. So, I mean that she is part of the the, the red area. So, and so is Ra. I don't have Ross necklace. Ross necklace is just um automatic damage. Ariel. Ugh, I'm not getting boat. I mean ship, I say boat, ship. Thor. Who has like Thor is a weird evolution series. There's female Thor. There's male Thor. Then they go, like, they invert between male and female. And it's just like, okay. Like, I don't get the joke. I don't get the boner. Uh... I think I need you. Do I need you, Loki? Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, no. I think she was a god of this. That's it. No. Cause I got a super reincarnation. All right, let's try one more time. It's so sad, I like right behind. Oh, Godfist exclusive. Godfist exclusive, we have Draco Blade Light Fog. Draco Blade Light Fog. It's actually good for um my, my Royal Oak team. So now I have two. All right, let's let's make bad choices and decisions. I mean, surely if I can get one god fest exclusive, I can get another. Sarah, I already have Sarah's orange skin with this. Look, this is Crimson Lotus Warrior Echidna Sa. I'm full of bad decisions. Just keep making bad decisions. Can I get a third? Can I get a third? Can I get no? I got, but I got, I got Haku. I'm not mad about that. I got me a Haku. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's seven, eight, nine, nine Haku. 
Alright, one more. This last one. Fingers crossed if we get Nautilus. We got Anubis. You useless piece of shite. Alright, well, that was it. Eh. Alright, we're gonna do Water and Can Rush. We're gonna refill with a Magic Stone. And I I think I'm gonna call it after this. Yes, I think, yeah. So I'm gonna go eat and get ready for tomorrow. Which I say I don't really have to do much work for tomorrow, so. Um, well, I mean, I, I gotta go to work, but uh, tomorrow is another work day. And then I have stuff coming tomorrow. I got class. Uh, I got screen protectors coming tomorrow. That order off of Amazon. I just paid my Amazon. I just paid for my Prime for YouTube subscription. I still need to buy video games because Sonic Colors Ultimate Edition comes out next week. Um, and I definitely want to double dip because I want that for. I might have to triple dip because I want it for uh I want it for either I want it for Epic. I have to get it for Epic because we don't have it yet for Steam. I am gonna get it digital for my Switch. To Switch Switch fanboy. Um I'm also gonna get the world ends with you, Neo the World Ends with You because I did play the demo and I love the game. It is such an improvement on what the original The World Ends With You was. And it's a definite please go by because it's a really good game. And uh, the Neo The World Ends With You, I'll say it right now, guys. It, it, it's my it's my game. It's my soundtrack of the year. It is by far an amazing soundtrack. It is my soundtrack of the year. Um, nothing has stopped it. Nothing has topped it. One I thought was gonna top it, but no, it it didn't, it didn't actually. Uh, Cause what was my soundtrack of the year from 2020? Oh, it was um, KDA All Out. That was my soundtrack of the year for um, 2020. It was a uh, KDA. Uh, those and that is the League of Legends group. If you guys actually don't know that or have never played League of Legends. Uh, I play LOL. I play some League. And uh, KDA is a Korean a K-pop aspired group. Uh, it consists of so Ju so Young and Ju Myeon from G, G Idol. Uh, Madison Beard. Uh, Giara Burns. Uh, Wolf Tyler, B. Miller, The Girls of Twice, their K-pop group, um, Becca Boom, and uh, Kim Patera. They all do the vocals for many of the many of the characters. Well, the five characters that are comprised in KDA. That oh oh I'm sorry I forgot um. Lexi Liu, Lexi Liu, she is also part of KDA. She does the voice for Seraphine. Um, uh, you forgot her name. Uh, Soyeon is uh, Akali. Uh, Madison Beard and B. Miller are Evelyn. Oh, and uh, Kim Patera is also Evelyn because uh, Kim Patera and Madison Beard did the vocals for Villain, the song for, um, the theme, the character song for the lovely Evelyn. Uh, Kaisa is split between Becca Boom, Wolf Pyla, and Jar Burns. And then Miss Ari is split between, um, Meon, twice, Becca Boom, as well, um, and this is because each of the songs themselves are reflected on the characters that are, excuse me, in KDA. 
And it's funny because there are a lot of other female vocalists that have done a lot of the character skin themed songs. Um, Becca G. Yeah, Becca G. She, or Becky G. I'm sorry, not Becca G. Becky G. She, you know, has Rebecca, um, uh, I forget what her last name is, but she's the Yellow Ranger in the Mighty Warfare Power Rangers reboot. The one we don't talk about? Yes. Uh, she plays Kiana, the elemental mistress. Uh, Kiki Palmer is the vocals for Cena. That's the, um, the renegade that has the souls of the departed she speaks to. And she has a giant fuck you look gun in her hand. Uh, she's also the wife to Lucian, the other character with double guns. They had a really cool storyline, actually, a few weeks back about um, the new champion, Vargas, and uh, his arrival into the scene. Like, Vargas is trying to take over a whole bunch of universes. Uh, Vargas destroyed a whole bunch of universes because he's trying to find his wife. Uh, spoiler, she doesn't want him finding her. Uh, there's a character named Gwen. Gwen is a uh, character in League of Legends. She's a real cool character. Um, Gwen's purpose, or Gwen's backstory is, is an unfortunate one, because uh, Gwen's creator, Gwen is a puppet. Gwen is a, a um, she's a puppet. She's basically their version of Pinocchio, without the lion. And um, Gwen's purpose in life is that she conquers evil. Her master died. Uh, in front of her eyes by her lover. Uh, Vargas is her lover, by the way. And, um, he didn't mean to kill her, apparently. Like, according to the story, Gwen wants revenge for basically something that Vargas didn't do. Vargas didn't kill his, 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 his girlfriend, or I think she was his fiance. She didn't kill him. He didn't kill her. Uh, someone else killed her. And is using Vargas's body um, to do the deeds that he's doing. It's just a very weird and complicated League of Legends story, but yeah, uh, those are all the female vocals for the, the skins. Um, I know there's some vocals laid for the Star Guardians because the Star Guardians had one, um, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, yeah. Those are a thing. And uh, I think what really sparked off the K-pop stuff was like when K-pop started getting really good um, or really popular over the years. K-pop's not bad. Honestly, if you guys haven't listened to K-pop, definitely go ahead and listen to a lot of it. It's really, really good. There's a lot of really good K-pop songs out there. There's a lot of really good K-pop artists. Um, they just unfortunately don't get as much recognition as, you know, J-pop or even then. So a lot of other things, but I'm a big K-pop fan um, as of recent. I'm also a very big anime fan, so definitely expect me to talk about I feel into this. Come on, move. Oh, did it freeze? It did freeze. Oh, I hate when this happens. Come on. I had to do a whole bunch of stuff to get this working again. It froze. Oh, I hate when this happens. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so my OBS does stupid things. And by stupid things, I mean it likes to freeze. So I'm still here. The counter is still going. It's just that um, my, OB my Steam Labs OBS froze. Um, it's going to try to force itself to work again. So I'm going to try to switch between the main setup and stuff. It's probably because I have so much stuff open too. Hold on, so I'm going to get off Discord. I'm going to close Discord and see if that helps. It's currently muted. No shit. Okay, so let me get off of Discord. Um... Let me close my filter thing, because that could also be part of it. Um, I don't know what else to really close, because everything else might need. Oh. 
Yeah, like, I'm, ugh, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. This is not supposed to happen. Hold on, let me try to integrate some pieces. Like, I'm still here. OBS is freezing up. I'm sorry, star. So hopefully this triggers it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Uh, cancel. Alright, there it goes. So, it's back, it's back. Oh, Jules is on? What is Jules doing? Oh, he's doing speed in the Super Mario World. I would love to know how to raid stuff works, so unfortunately I just can't get that working. Um... Alright, so... I'm gonna put my little puzzle dragon stuff there. Just I... Alright. Okay, go back. There you go. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Wait, I gotta make this bigger. See, there you go. So my alert box is here. But actually, no, when I do puzzles and dragons, I want my alert box here. And then I want this to be enlarged. And some of them be like, uh, you're really doing a lot of this for something that you're rarely going to be doing. Uh-huh. So, uh, I think at this point, I did say I was going to go ahead and get ready to get off. So, actually, yeah, because I got work in the morning. And, ooh, I hate getting, I'm, I'm not a morning person. And I still need to go get me some dinner. So, um, with that said, you guys, I want to say thank you. Um, for all of you coming, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, thank you for the raid, Kai. I really do appreciate it. Um, oh, this is this was a really cool day. It honestly was. I did not expect to sit here and and roll and and, and play dungeon and roll again. <laughs> so, um. With that said, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, actually, let me do uh, what I normally commonly do when I uh, get into stream. So, uh, this is my Twitter account. If you guys want to, you know, see me social on my social media, my that's my Twitter. Uh, this is the Instagram. Uh, this is the Discord. If you guys would like to join the Discord. And this is, of course, the main channel itself, my YouTube channel. Um, I gotta finish uploading stuff, because I'm a lazy fuck, and I'm probably gonna take the next four days, uh, for my four-day weekend, to, uh, upload content that I've been missing out, because if I upload the content, they'll give me some room, and I definitely want a room, because I want to play some Sonic Colors. So, yeah, that is... Pretty much about it. I want to say thank you guys so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will be back, if not Thursday, I will be back Friday. Friday will be my is Friday, Saturday, Sunday are my official stream days. Um, but I kind of erased that all on my schedule because i i hate following my schedule because i don't really follow my schedule like today i decided to go ahead and, and stream i normally don't stream on a weekday unless it's something very important and it was something very important because i want to roll puzzle and dry cubes so yay um with that said i want to say thank you guys so much and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night uh don't forget to hit the follow button because it helps me out tremendously because i'm relatively should be almost close to hitting uh affiliate because i really definitely want to hit affiliate before the end of the year so i'm doing my best to stream as much as i possibly can and get enough content out as possibly as i possibly can because sorry, words. But yeah, definitely catch me this Friday. If not, possibly Thursday. If I get the chance. And I don't know exactly what I'll be doing. If money looks right, I might buy Spyro. You guys might see me stream Spyro. I might go back to Crash. Or I could go back to uh, Sonic. 
Sonic Advance 2. Sonic Advance 2, because I forgot this game. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you all next time. So, HBJ, signing out. Take care.